And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fun Smith Anivia. That's right, we're bringing back a deck that we played on a meme tier Monday about a month ago with Ezreal and Anivia and Funsmith. Um, there was, you know, a lot of fun to play and I think we went 4-0 in normal and then we played our, our fifth game in ranked. I don't remember if we won it or not, um, but we're going to be taking on over to ranked now for Anivia Day. Basically, our deck's going to be about dealing... Uh, increasing the amount of damage that we deal with small damaged uh, sources. So our Funsmith says all of our spells and skills deal an extra one damage. So that means that Anivia's attack will now deal two damage to all enemies. And then if it's leveled up, it's dealing three. Then we're going to have like Static Shock deal two, um, Kempunk Shredder deal two to all enemies. You know, like that kind of stuff. All these like little things, Death Ray, Mystic Shot, lots of small things to target. And uh, then the Funsmith will increase the damage. But then we're also going to make some pretty big units because our deck is filled with spells. So we're going to have Starlet Seer over here. That's going to be buffing up the top allies of our deck whenever we cast a spell. Of course, we'll have Ballistic Bot with the Ignition, where the Ignition will deal two damage whenever we have Funsmith. So that's going to be a thing. Uh, let's see. We'll have a Terrative Improvement, be able to, to copy so we can make more Funsmiths or more Ballistic Bots or Starlet Seers or whatever we need. Um, for Protection, we'll have two Troll Chant, three Spoils of War. Because we are going to be dealing some Nexus damage with a lot of our cards. So, so uh, Spoils of War um, will be able to plunder and grant permanent grant plus two plus four for three mana is a pretty insane buff if you can turn on plunder reliably. And we kind of can with Mystic Shot, you know, just all these different cards. Mystic Shot, Static Shock, like these things, all of that. Um, because we're also turning on plunder, we need to find some more units. So we got some card draw in here with the Shared Spoils. Again, buffing and drawing cards and stuff. Pretty sweet card there. And then our top end, we got True Shot Barrage, which is not normally a card that we would play too much, but I think with being able to play Funsmith and multiple Funsmiths, thanks to a Terrative Improvement, um, the True Shot Barrage does start to look a lot better. If it can deal four, three, and two, that's that's a lot of damage. Maybe you have two Funsmiths in play, so it does five, four, and three. That would be pretty crazy. So yeah, we got a couple of True Shots in here and one Progress Day for some more card advantage. All right, so let's try it out. Let's have some fun with Funsmith Anivia on Anivia Champion Spotlight Knight. We're playing three Anivia decks. <laughs> Thanks, M. Thor. Yeah. Yeah, so this is an idea that we, we had um, the other day whenever we played three, Sejuani, three different Sejuani decks when we were testing out decks for the seasonal tournament. So yeah, so Wednesday nights, new idea of pick a you know pick a random champion. We we just did random number generator to pick a champion, and then we we're going to be building three decks all with different regions with that champion. And our random number generator gave us a Nivea this time. Okay, this is going to be just straight mulligans across the board. I like shared spoils, but we need to find like I could see. I mean, I guess I could have kept Mystic Shot shared spoils shared spoils. And then just like do nothing turn one, nothing turn two, and then turn three, Mystic Shot them, and then double Shared Spoils. But I don't know if... I don't know. This is certainly a deck where we want to play against a lot of aggro, of course, right? Like we have all this small removal and combat spells and that kind of stuff. So big Watcher combo deck, not what we want to face. I don't really know why everybody's playing this deck today. But this is... Not what you want to face when you're playing an Anivia deck. You do not want to just see mono watchers. And this is the sixth game today and third watcher deck. Fourth watcher deck, sorry. Fourth watcher deck. Yeah, yep, this was definitely built for the aggro meta with the death rays, which I, I still think that's, that's perfectly fine. Usually do face a little bit more aggro. Or like, yeah, I was thinking we would probably face some aggro anyway, so I'm, I'm not mad at that. It's not bragging if you can back it up. We did well with every all three such. We played three different Sejuani decks and did really well with all three. Honestly, we went like five oh four one four one with all of them. We played one with Renekton, one with Sivir. They were kind of the same. Um, 
And then the other one was with what, Draven or Darius. Or I guess I guess no other champion for the other one. It was just just Sejuani, but with Noxus. I guess we didn't play Draven or Darius. You can find them all. They were from like I guess they're they're all up on the YouTube channel. You maybe just go to like the Freljord playlist, and you can see the different Sejuani decks. And like you know, you'll find it real fast. Like there's playlists for each region. Do I need to level up this Ezreal? I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe So casting this because of the Starlet Seer to give the plus one plus one? It's not that bad. Let's get one of those out of their hand. How I guess Yeah, okay. Just trying to think of like how worried I'm supposed to be about like um ruination. So first target for Ezreal. Certainly think that they want to 
like that they were going to want to like avalanche and that kind of stuff but uh let's see One shot, all skill. we're at three right now for targets as far as targets are concerned Yeah, we're always in somewhere now. Now you're here, now you're there. Yada yada. Ah, oh, an auspicious season. The good news is their board's going to be pretty filled. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough room for that Frozen Thrall. Clearing up space, of course. I guess if they, if they have Spectral Matron, we're just going to lose, aren't we? Unless I progress day and find another Ezreal, and then I can Ezreal afterwards and, you know, put a champion back. I know you're thinking and stuff, but could you maybe speed things up a little? No, we had we had to try to kill the trundle to survive, but
That's too bad. The the trundle killed me right there. I was at nine. The trundle was attacking for nine. All right, so this is definitely a better matchup for us. Small units. I like it. This is better. Yeah, the, the trundle attack was lethal. Um, do I want to keep both Ezreals? Probably. So I don't do anything turn one, turn two, but we will have the, the you know, this is going to turn into a mystic shot for us to be able to play turn three, but then we'll also have Funsmith, Gunpunk Shredder. Yeah, this is, this is the kind of matchup we would much rather face. I will be happy if I don't face the Watcher really ever again, but at least today with the Nivea decks. I, I don't want to face that with any of our decks today. Yeah, because that was four out of six <laughs> over Watcher decks so far today. Yuck. And it wasn't like we were getting paired against the same person. They were all different people. Okay, no Ballistic Bot, that's good. So they don't get the free spells from Ballistic Bot. Ooh, True Shot Barrage could be a spicy one at the top end. That could be a spicy one. Yeah. It's a free kill. Of course, next turn I'm looking at going uh, the Shredder. Deal two. No, you, nope, this does not target Fizz, so Fizz cannot fizzle it. Fizz could fizzle the True Shot Barrage. Can fizzle. Fizz fizzle. Hey, what's up, Spoils of War? Let's do this. Haven't seen you recently. Hope you're doing good. So they've used one Get Excited, one Mystic Shot so far. Flesh was weak, but look at me now. Our Funsmiths look so cool with that animation. They look so scary. They just haven't this aura about them. Ooh. Got rid of another Get Excited. That's good for me to see. So that the card they're putting back was the card that Stress Testing made fleeting. Do have three fleeting cards in hand. 
So we can assume they're going to play something. So they're going to play something that's going to true shot all three things. But I guess I could true shot for five on their nexus and then four, three on these things, you know, four and three. Put them down to nine, out attack for lethal. The onus is definitely on them to play stuff. Because, like I said, they have three fleeting cards in hand. Or two, I guess. Pick a card's only two cards these days. So I guess it's only two fleeting cards. Wow, not even gold carding. I guess they're planning on blocking. All right, so we've seen two get excited, and that's a great. You know, this is just such a good draw. I was gonna say we've seen two get excited and two mystic shots go away from them. Is that, a con is that a concurrent timelines? Oh, right, right, because that's what these things are just making those. This would still put me down to three. Hope they don't have get excited number three. This would be a good Cause if they don't have get excited number three, that's game. That's game. True shot barrage. Dealing lots of nexus damage. That was a perfect top deck with that death mark or death ray. Death ray, yeah. GG's. Okay, one and one. Back to 500. So I got to do that again. Go one and one again. Get back to 500 at two and two. And then. Uh, win the last one and go three and two. That's the goal. Hey, Tariq, what's up? Glad you're catching the stream live. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good day. All right, we got Lucian Azir. So we've played, this is our second Lucian Azir. So eight games, we've had four Watcher, two Lucian Azir, and two Randos. <laughs> uh, True Shot Barrage is awesome, but maybe a little expensive. This whole hand is kind of takes a little time to set up like bot plus improvements really nice but it does take a little time to set up and maybe we don't actually have that time uh, in this matchup so i guess i'm going to mulligan the iter the uh, iterative improvement even though it is really nice to have 
Witness perfection, meat bags. Don't get in my way. Okay, I won't. Jeez. Safety disengaged. Don't need to be so aggressive, Lucian. So could have troll chanted there to try to kill Lucian, but you know they can also like have like they, like they still have two mana. It's not like they don't have mana. So they could have sharp sight and the plus three plus one and all those kind of cards. Alright, I'm going to pass on Ignition so that I can have 6 mana for Static Shock plus Troll Chant for this next turn. What a hand. What a hand. This will be a good winter. Blessed by snow and stars. Oh man, they really do have everything. Wow, they really did have everything. I think the game's just over. Did they get to attack again? They really had everything. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't cast this this sharp sight right after I cast the troll chant. Also, and I, I should just have a dead starlet here. But still, even with that, Fly away while you can. I mean, this this game's over. Turn five kill. That wow. That's what we call perfect. Yeah, our hand was not perfect. Yeah, no death ray, no mystic shot for us. I mulliganed everything but ballistic bots. So I, I looked. I didn't just keep bad cards. So mirror type match, but they have the puff caps. That's going to be a difficult thing to deal with. What do I think about Static Shock? I'm keeping, I'm obviously keeping Mystic Shock for sure. Maybe not actually, maybe not Static Shock. Can you improve 
protection. One size that papers now faces. No peddler, no peddler, no peddler. No peddler. Haha, -ha, double bot. They did not have a peddler, double bot. Got him. All right, shouldn't count that. Okay. Hey, what's up, Yoda? Man, we had a good hand. All right, fine, we won't count that. All right, stop. All right, uh, what, so prediction? Hey, Goomba. Okay, there's no prediction going right now. There's the new one started. How you doing this evening, Goomba? Okay, Boomerang Blade on Tarek. Nice. Boomerang Blade on Tarek does sound really sweet. Alright, so another matchup against Twisted Fate Fizz. Is this the same opponent as before? We're not good at finding Death Ray and Mystic Shot. Yeah, new cards do look look very good, especially. Sorry, especially the two mana card that gives your champions and your landmark spell shield, and the new seven mana champion spell from the new champion. Those two cards have looked like the best two cards so far. Yeah, we could, so yeah, we could build a Boomerang Blade Taric deck for a meme tier day. I could see doing that. That's a good trade. Trading our two drop for both Get Excited and a Terrative Improvement. Those are both amazing cards. So, good trade. See what else they got. Okay, get rid of the card that gives them free spells. That will be helpful. 
Never lost a fair game. Or play one. Eyes open. I should just do this. Because then I'm probably going to want to play Anivia next turn, True Shot Barrage the following turn. Unless unless they play like a bunch of stuff before combat, then I play True Shot Barrage next turn, and then Anivia the following turn. Yeah, we could switch that up and go in the other order. Double stress testing Poro Cannon. Well, Nivia can eat some Poros. Poro Cannon's the only zero mana spell, right? Like, if they completely spend all their mana, as far as Fizz is concerned. exactly what I was expecting here. Oh yeah, Warning Shot. No, I don't think they play Warning Shot normally, do they? Hmm. Let's not ruffle our feathers. I only have four other cards in hand. Because, like, the Fizz levels up. Like they play, you know, Mystic Shot at my Starless here. The Fizz levels up. So, but it, it only does one damage to me at least. Again. Next turn, I'm going to be able to play Anivia and Static Shock by playing the Starless here by saving the three spell mana. Here in your time of need. Of course, they don't. They probably don't play stuff right now, but I guess they kind of have to. So we know these two cards are fleeting. Right? Or maybe maybe that rummage was was a fleeting card. At least one of those two is fleeting.
Yeah, they have rifle through their deck so fast. Still, they only have... Let's say they only have, they still have 21 cards left. The question is, is am I willing to pass? That's my, that's my main question. Am I willing to pass? Because if I attack here, they obviously they just play like a ton of stuff afterwards, and then they then they go to their turn and then have all their mana to play like a bunch more stuff and everything like that. I think I kind of have to pass. They still have at least one, but I think two fleeting cards. But for sure, at least one. That was a fleeting card. That will make the attack necessary now. No, the new cards are not the end of aggro decks, no. Ray always coming in clutch. Hey, Can't say no to Fizz. All right, so these two are one mana spells from Burblefish. The problem is get excited if they have that, which they did. Blessed by snow and stars. So I got to use that and I don't get to have a death ray MK1 now. We're whittling down the number of cards that they have, I suppose. Yeah, and and that is five burn that's not going to the to my nexus, that's true. so much for the twitch prime sub i appreciate that brand new twitch prime sub first sub of the day wait <laughs> wait four months now oh man i read that wrong sorry four month resub with the twitch prime sub thank you fam 
You're the best. I appreciate that. So I, I was wondering if like I should do like the the one damage with that to like the fizz and see if like we can you know they only have two cars that could possibly be protection for the fizz and so maybe test them out with that thing but. This is going to be 3, 2, 1. So if they play the long tooth, we'll deal... Wow, they just pass? Well, I guess I just attack. If they take six, now I think True Shot Barrage has to target. So I guess we kind of have to target Fizz, even though we don't want to target Fizz. I want to just do three to the Nexus and nothing else. Yeah, I have to target Fizz. That's really bad for me. Which I guess I, I, I really should, like, I kind of just passed, like, instinctively, but I really should because, because they still, they need to play, like, you know, like, one of these slow spells to turn on Fizz anyway. I mean, Death Ray just always coming in clutch. Death Ray just always coming in clutch. So this was the new spell they just drew. Well, if I would have played the True Shot Barrage last turn, we would have won this here. But I didn't play it last turn, so we could still very easily lose. So that was that was a big mistake by me not playing the true shot barrage last turn. Yep. Well, I guess I, so. I still would have lost, right? Because yeah, so they had Mystic Shot and Drew last Mystic Shot. Those were kind of two perfect cards. So like, if I if I go with the barrage last turn, they Mystic Shot me to put me down to three. And then they start the turn with Ignition, and I take it and go down to two, and then I True Shot Barrage, and they Mystic Shot again. So I, I would have lost with those two cards. So you can say, like, wow, the opponent drew perfectly to have, you know, the, the double Mystic Shot as the last two cards, and so on and so on. But it's it's because of rummaging a million times and stress, you know, they had all three stress testings, either two or three rummages, and, you know, all three Twisted Fates, and you know, they just went through their whole deck, and so that's just the, the cards that were left. Okay, going big. I would much rather face the Twisted Fate Fizz deck again, but I don't know. It's not working out for us <laughs> so far, I guess, with these games. Um, yeah, they had what they needed all those times, right? Like, they needed the Get Excited, they had it, and they needed Double Mystic Shot, they had it. That's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes with all the card draw. So we're just going to mulligan all those, I guess, and just keep the Starless here. really don't want to play Frail Yord Shadow Isles Control anymore. Please. We see through all.
I just feel like I see I feel felt like they had Catalyst of Aeons, which is why I led with that. I still kind of feel like Catalyst of Aeons. I'm I'm very tempted to pass. Passed but they didn't cast Catalyst of Aeons last turn, and they had a very easy time to play it last turn, and they didn't do it. So because of that, I guess I attack. Please no catalyst. They just drew it. Man, I wish I would have passed. Should have passed. So that damage is not worth them speeding up an entire turn. I'm debating my head whether or not to play this with Ruination looming at the next turn. If, like, one attack with, with all those is worth it or not. Do ruination here, then we're going to be able to be able. Then we will be able to play Anivia afterwards. Oh, an All right, get a whole bunch of pumps in. So Anivia attacks for three. Fonsmith attacks for five. Exactly Last time I checked, five is more than three. Um, I don't really regret not open attacking. Open attack would have done seven damage. For the thrill of battle. So this does turn this into a 9-9, and so then the 9-9... So, like, it's basically... I can I can have them be, you know, 7-2 and 9-2, or, you know, like, a 9-9 plus, like, a 7, like, you know, 5 or 7 or something like that. I think I'd rather just have this thing be a 9-2. It's not too difficult to deal with a 9-2.
dawn approaches. Yeah, we're so close to lethal. But remember, they're Shadow Isles. Like, they're going to have Withering Whales and all that kind of stuff that heals heal their Nexus. Won't be too difficult for them to heal their Nexus. Taking the big mana advantage, then passing a nine mana left. Because they're already like kind of in a tough spot, and so I didn't allow them to catch up. You know, we'd, we'd do one damage to them with, like, an Envy attack, right? But then they'd be able to catch up and play all sorts of stuff afterwards. The, we're going to have a Death Ray come back pretty soon, which I don't really like. I hope this is Mystic Shot. That would be the best possible draw is Mystic Shot. And that's the Death Ray. Just might as well. Alright, come on, Glacial Storm. Kind of my last hope. Yeah, that's why I wanted Mystic Shot. I was hoping they would just go for atrocity. I, I was, that's what I was hoping. I was hoping their plan was just going to be atrocity. And I was going to be able to troll chant. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, it looks like they got me. Feel the Rush is still a great card. These Shadow Isles probably were control decks. Like, they just have a little bit better top end than us, right? Like, that's this is not, not a good matchup. Not good. Okay. 
if there's one region combination I don't want to play against, it's this one. The Targon cards are not the best either, I guess, to be fair. It's those, you know, like those Twisted Fate Fizz decks. Like, those are decks that we gotta, we gotta win. Like, those are matchups that we should be winning. And, like, the Lucian Azir. We're not, you're not gonna win 100% of them. And our opponents just had very good hands and they, they beat us. Um, but those are, like, looking back at these, like, those are, like, the games that hopefully we would win all three of those and, you know, we lose the two Crawley or Chattel Isles, but... Um, no, I don't, I don't think Foundry is very good. I think it costs too much mana for, like, Progress Day, you draw cards. Foundry, both players draw cards. And having your opponent draw cards in this deck is a downside. Like, that, that is, that's a negative. So I could go with the Death Ray here and see if we get the Death Ray through. Three, and then that'd be five plus this one, six. Six total damage to the Trindomir to kill the Trindomir. Problem is the Trundle kills me anyway, so going for that doesn't really help. Yeah, so like we're, we're trying to outgrind opponents, and so playing Foundry allows our opponents to have a lot more cards and, and curve out better and everything, and that's not something that I'm interested in. in. You, you know, if you're playing like like the puff caps, that can that can be okay for Foundry. But it's not just if it was just only I draw a card every single turn. Okay, we can talk, but it's both players draw a card every turn. If we had one more mana, we draw an Evia, we could have Flash Freeze, or like you know the Harsh Wind. Sorry, Harsh Winds. But, you know, we're just wasting time. Right, and when you say whose win con is faster, playing whoops, playing the Foundry gives your opponent a faster win condition because they they don't have to spend any mana and they get more cards. Um, it's a it's a net negative for you, right? Like you're you're down one total card, like you lose a card, but then you both gain cards at the same rate. So all it is is you spending three mana to lose a card to just increase the resources in the game. That's not something that this kind of control deck wants. You can't really afford to just like take, to just spend three mana and spend a card to just increase the resources for both players when you're like usually kind of behind with this kind of deck anyway and, and you're already playing your two drops like Ballistic Bot and Starless here that aren't necessarily ones you want to be getting in combat anyway since you're already kind of behind it just in general. And so no, that's not a good strategy. Progress Day does take a lot of mana, but it's one-sided. You're the one that refills and everything. So that's... That's... It. that's um. You know, you're the only person that gets benefits. The uh, the Foundry, both players are getting the exact same benefit. No, 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 no. You do not auto win slow decks like Aurelian Soul. Not, not at all. No, 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 no. Okay, so there we go. That was our fun Smith and Nivea deck. Um, you know, didn't work out as well this time, uh, but as we talked about during the that end of that last game, um, the the small unit matchups have got to be pretty good with this. But we didn't uh, didn't take care of business in those matchups. The Freljord Shadow Isles control, we're gonna really struggle there. And so, not surprised we went 0-2 there. It's the other three games. We went one and two in the other three games. Those are ones that we got to go two and one at least, or three and zero. Oh. Um, but the the Lucian Azir. They had an amazing hand. That was one of the best Lucian Azir hands I've ever seen, you know, with the turn five kill, even through, like, you know, I, I had, you know, like, what, three blockers and 
and removal spell and they still killed me on turn five that was just ridiculous um you know we didn't have you know we didn't have a mystic shot or a death ray either of those would have been perfect for for that but still that doesn't you know like yes that one was rough but then the fizz decks um you know, like they just had a little bit too much card draw and, and just barely eked it out. Um, you know, it's going to happen uh, for one of them. And we, we won the other one. You know, we won one, lost one with that. Okay, but uh, there we go. That was Funsmith Anivia. Um, just another Anivia deck for our Anivia Showcase Night. Uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching some Funsmith Anivia. And I'll see you for the next video.